The Texas Panhandle Poison Center says the state is seeing a significant increase in ivermectin-related calls. KAMR Local 4's Jeb Baker spoke with the Poison Center about the trend. But we're seeing some pretty significant risks. The Texas Poison Center reports a nearly 200 percent increase in ivermectin related calls from July to August. It's just scary. The local managing director, Dr. Janie Adamio Stamets, says those calls are almost exclusively people taking the form of ivermectin meant to treat animals. The animal products were not tested in humans and they actually use inactive ingredients. Um, that were not designed or tested in humans. So those are more dangerous to us. She says some callers are experiencing gastrointestinal symptoms, but it doesn't stop there. We are having some people who have neurological effects. So they're having difficulty walking. Um, they're having uh, vision disturbances, hallucinations, um, some slurred speech. So this drug ha does have the ability to affect the central nervous system. Doctors continue to urge people to stop self-medicating with ivermectin. There's not a, a mechanism, a scenario in which going to tractor supply and buying something to treat a disease that um, um, uh, yourself is, is going to be a good idea. So because they're taking preparations and dosages that are meant to be for animals, not humans, and it's ridiculous that they would have faith in doing something like that compared to a lack of faith in a vaccine. Dr. Enemy of Stamets says some doctors are prescribing ivermectin to patients, but even that can still be toxic. Dr. Lamentier's message to those physicians is this. To go back and look at the data on ivermectin to date in terms of its efficacy. And I think if you do that with a scrutinizing eye like you were trained in medical school, you'll stop prescribing ivermectin. If you still insist on taking ivermectin, Dr. Amarillo Stamets offers this advice. Um, if you have human um, designed ivermectin, that would be preferred um, because it has actually been tested in humans. Um, but we would just, there's really no evidence that it's effective and you're risking having those toxic effects. The FDA has not approved the drug for use in treating or preventing COVID-19 in humans, saying that it is not an antiviral drug. Live in studio, Jed Baker, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Jed, thank you. If you have taken ivermectin and you start to develop symptoms that you're concerned about, call the Poison Center, that number here at the bottom of your screen.